Learning with Miss Literacy, the singing reading librarian. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Come on, everybody, friends one and all. Let's come together. Let's break down those walls. We're going to listen and we're going to learn. Having fun all the way. Somebody said, let's listen and learn together. Let's sing and learn forever. Let's listen, sing, and learn. How are you today? I'm so glad you joined us, and I'm hoping we're gonna have fun together today. Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. I enjoy singing songs, I enjoy reading stories, I enjoy talking about wonderful things that happen, and I enjoy watching movies. One specific story that I wanna tell you about today that some of you might know him, but I want to remind you of him and those of you who don't know him, I want you to see him. Did you guess who this is? It is the Grinch. Now the Grinch has a special story. I know some of you say, but he's me. Yeah, he was, but the Grinch changed his mind. He changed his heart. The Grinch, most people don't know, but he was an orphan as a child. That means he did not have a mother or father. He did not have a family to love. His Christmas, unlike my Christmas, which was filled with toys and presents and family and food, his Christmas was full of empty spaces, loneliness, no song. So he learned to hate Christmas because it didn't bring him joy. While everyone else around him seemed to be joyful, he was alone. So he decided he would hate Christmas. But the beauty of Christmas is love. And this little girl showed Grinch the way. His heart was small, 10 times smaller than ours. But after his encounter with love from this little girl who loved her mother, and even showed him love when he was being mean, his heart grew. Yes, and the Grinch changed his heart and he became a lover, not of just Christmas, but a lover of people and a lover of kindness. So if you wanna remember anything about the most wonderful time of the year, remember people like Grinch who change because of love. And that's really what Christmas is supposed to do for us. So because Christmas songs are the most joyful things to do. And I think you want to sing along with me. So I want to save that to the end. Let's do this book that's very short, don't worry, but you're going to enjoy it because it's called, What Am I? Christmas. And it's written by Anne Margaret Lewis, illustrated by Tom Mills. Let's go inside the book. I'm topped with a golden star. My needles are green. What am I? What could I be? <gasps> I'm an evergreen. An evergreen, a Christmas tree. That's me. See if you can guess it. I make music cheery and bright. And my feathery wings are beautiful and light. What am I? What could I be? <gasps> I am an angel. Christmas angel. That's me. I am frosted and sweet. I have cinnamon candy eyes and gumdrop buttons. What am I? What could I be? <laughs> Did you guess I am a gingerbread man? That's me. I am made of evergreens and decorated with bows. I welcome all the Christmas guests. What am I? What could I be? I am a wreath, a Christmas wreath. I fly, stand and slay. What am I? What could I be? I am Santa's reindeer. That's me. I'm made of cloth and hang by the fireplace, waiting for Santa. What am I? What could I be? Ah, I am Christmas stockings. That's me. 
I am rolled from snow and wear a black top hat. I have button eyes and a carrot nose. What am I? What could I be? Ah, uh, I am a snowman. That's me. I am wrapped in dazzling colors and decorated with a bow. A surprise hides in me. What am I? What could I be? I am a Christmas present. That's me. My eyes are pointy and I wear a bell on my hat. I love to make toys. What am I? Could I be? Oh, I am a Christmas elf. That's me. My red and white stripes swirl around, around me and I taste like peppermint. What am I? What could I be? I am a sweet treat, a candy cane. That's me. Oh, oh, oh. I have a jolly belly and wear a suit of red and white. What am I? What could I be? I am Santa Claus from the North Pole. That's me. What am I? What could I be? All of these. And I am Christmas. That's me. The end. <laughs> what am I? Christmas. I hope you enjoy that. That is one of my favorite Christmas books to read for Christmas. All right, so now we're gonna do some singing. Now I know you all are going to sing along with me in your classrooms, in your homes. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. Cause when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty the snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Oh, thumpity thump, thump, thumpity thump, thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump, thump, thumpity thump, thump, over the hills of snow. Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and we'll have some fun now before I melt away. Down through the village with a broomstick in his hand. Running here and there all around the square saying, catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of town right to the traffic cop. And he only paused a moment when he heard him holler, stop. Oh, Frosty the snowman had to hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye, saying, don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Oh, thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, over the hills of snow. <laughs> yes, we all love Frosty. How about this song? Now this song, everyone should know this one too, because everyone should be nice for Santa to come. And we want Santa to come, right? Yes, we do. So, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout, cause I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yes, he's making a list and checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yes, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pop, cause I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. 
Yes, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Yes, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not talk because I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Oh, Santa Claus is coming. Yes, Santa Claus is coming to town. Yes, he's coming to town. Y'all better be ready. <laughs> so, boys and girls, I think we have time for one more song. So, this is a song that I like to sing at Christmas time. And I hope you will oblige me to sing my favorite Christmas song. Okay? Teachers might know it, parents might know it. And you can sing along with me if you know it, okay? Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy your Christmas time. I'm so glad you tuned in to Learn and Grow with me. It's been a pleasure. I hope you can agree. We learned a lot and we opened the doors of your minds to grow. Somebody said, Miss Sheila, please come again. I'll see you again next time. Merry Christmas. See you next time.